Hey, it's Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop, and this week I'm tackling another vehicle from my childhood. This, I believe it's called the Byway Man, but it's a Chevy Silverado uh, lifted. Um, pretty good shape, but something I wanted to tackle, and I finally feel like tackling it. I have a few extras, too. <laughs> Just in case. As usual, if you like what you see, subscribe, ring the bell to get notified of all future videos. So yeah, I've been wanting to tackle this for a long time. Um, I finally get the wheels that I want, um, which are probably a little oversized for the project, but uh, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. I have some decals that I ordered eight months ago uh, from the Redline shop. So I've been thinking about doing this for a while, and out of all the trucks that I do have, and these are all from when I was a kid, I never got rid of them. Um, the blue one was the one in the best shape, and by best shape being the roll bar was intact, because that's usually the first thing that goes. Um, the other ones were like the speedy plow ones, so the plows obviously were missing. The uh, glass was in decent shape. It's a little, couple little scuffs here and there that, that sanded out no problem. Um, and surprisingly, the interior was, for missing a dash, um, it was very, when I say missing, it just didn't come with them to begin with. Uh, it was in fairly decent shape. And a lot of detail in it as well that really you don't see because everything's black so i got my nine cent paint bucket and i put my uh, citrus strip in there um stuff works really good um this paint actually came right off usually i let them sit overnight just because i get busy and just just my schedule but this stuff came off real quick i got my little bucket of lime away that i put the uh, base or the chassis in i got my soapy water for my interior and my windshield um, after tapping, I always refit, make sure everything is going to go back together the way I want it to. So I'm not trying to do that after it's been painted. And it's just good practice and um, something I like to do. I'll go back and touch up a few of the body lines here and there. There's some, I would guess, a handful of really bad casting lines. I left a couple of them. I wanted to keep some character to the truck. And... I, I always walk a fine line on these older ones that were um, from my personal collection from when I was a kid. So I don't want to go crazy with them, but um, at the same time, I want them to look good. And that's why I'm doing them. So after I've sanded down what I can sand down and get off the body lines, I want to touch it up with some some really fine sandpaper. And then I'll go it with a Scotch-Brite. I wipe it down with... Um, lacquer thinner in this case and uh, you can use mineral spirits too but I like the, the lacquer thinner um, the lime away works awesome um, I think I left it in a little too long I got kind of carried away and forgetful but with the wire brush it brings back the original shine no problem and uh, stuff works awesome I recently converted to it and uh, I'm glad I did it's it works really well and you can see how oxidized or how uh, how much of a film it left on it um, but then the last step I'll do is, is hitting everything with a um, wire brush. The chassis came out really, really nice. The issue, uh, there really was no issues. The tires that I'm putting on are quite larger than, or at least diameter-wise, than what I had on there to begin with from the factory. So um, little tabs that are on there, I'm kind of just grinding those off. Gives the wheels a little bit so they're not sitting out so far because they are so wide. I wanted a little bit more inside. So just by grinding those off, um, that actually worked perfectly. Um, of course, as usual, the um, the wheels, the axle that they came with is just too short. Um, the problem I ran into was that because of the diameter of the wheels, well, if I put them in the original slots, it didn't work. It was hitting the body. So I kept grinding down and grinding down and grinding down to the point where I pretty much ground through the chassis, um, which is okay because I still got the two two ends that the um, axle tube, which I had to make, because again the, the 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 overall dimension of the wheels with the ax axles that were on it just wasn't wide enough, so I had to cut it anyways. But with the axle axle tube sits right in there perfectly. Um, so it works really good. So if you're going to cut the wheels, make sure you grip it because it will go flying everywhere and you'll poke an eye out and then your wife gets mad and, you know. But anyways, um, so here I'm just kind of fitting. Same thing. Make sure that you trim your axles down. Don't just cut them in half. Make sure you fit them because 
chances have it, you got to trim a little bit off each end so they don't touch each other when they're in the axle tube because you push one side in, it's all glued in, you're happy, you push the other side in, and it pushes the other side out, and it becomes a nightmare. So I wanted to paint the chassis black, so I masked off the front and rear. I white primed the body, sanded it down to look for imperfections. And if you notice, this is kind of a fairly quick video, and I'm trying to trying to cram everything in so I'm not boring anybody. At the same time, I'm probably talking too much, but it is what it is. But I'm using some Tamiya masking tape, um, different sizes. Stuff works awesome ever since I switched. Um, real, real happy with it. And I'm doing the bases in this Chaos Black from Citadel. I got it at my local hobby store. Stuff's expensive. It's like 22 bucks a can. But it lasts forever. And it's really, really, really nice. It's got a perfect finish. I've never had a run. I love it. Um, so anyways, I, I primed the body gray. And I primed the interior with the base of the truck white. Um, just so I had a... I, I didn't want anything black except for really the bed and the tire to keep some originality out of it so i'm going to use my chrome pen for my roll bar and then i use some citadel paints for various aspects of the actual um plastic interior slash bed because it's all one piece and that's actually the back of the truck is below the um, roll bar so it's kind of a weird design so this took a little while to do um the spots that i couldn't get with the chrome pen i actually dabbed a little bit on a um on my like a piece of plastic there and then I use a paintbrush to get in the rest of the way Citadel paints I'm using like I used a tan for the seats because I wanted um, a nice tan interior I did the two gas cans red because they pop out a little bit and then it's just detail work like the headlights directionals all done with Citadel paints and then I'll clear matte clear over everything um, after it's all done and I do the underneath as well which it has a really nice exhaust transfer case. All the detail in this uh, for an older casting was really, really nice. Um, nice raised lines. And this really didn't get played with a lot. I mean, uh, I remember playing, you know, I used to roll the cars down the driveway and whoever went the furthest one. I mean, they, they did take a beating, but I didn't really, it's not like I buried them in the sand or anything. So they were all in pretty good shape. So I'm trying some new paints. The splash paints, I'm trying the competition red. Um, I did a couple other samples with some other cars. I loved it right out of the bottle. I didn't have to add anything to it. Um, so, goes on awesome. It's a base coat, clear coat system. So, the base coat, um, even though it'll go on shiny, it dries matte, which is not any different, really, from the Citad um, from the Createx stuff. But it's um, just, it seemed like it just sprayed so much easier for me um, maybe I'm just optimistic um, but I really I really enjoyed it um, and I like not having to guess on the mix I didn't I literally took it out of the I shook up the little bottle and I dumped it in my air gun and um, it clean up was a breeze everything was great um, so so far so good I'm still playing around with it I get some candies and everything else to uh, to kind of screw with too so now it's just a matter of putting the decals on I got my green one there I'm using as a reference um, there's also a little piece that goes on the back behind the rear wheel well. I did not add that because I don't like it. So <laughs> that was uh, the end of that conversation. But um, these decals I got from the Redline shop, they go on nice. They're real thin. I put in the Microsol to help it set into the uh, door cracks. And uh, again, I didn't have any issue with the splash paints. Um, I didn't apply clear coat uh, first. I put the decal right on. Uh, Microsol didn't affect it. Everything worked really well. So now it's just a matter of basic assembly. Um, this was, you know, overall, I mean, this almost took me a, maybe a little over a day. Um, but it was a fun project, and it was fun to restore something from my childhood. I always get iffy on doing it because I don't want to screw it up. I've kept them for 40-something years or 30-something years, and I just don't want to screw them up. But at the same time, I had four of them. So. Uh, but I'm real happy with the way it came out. Um, I have to wait for the clear coat to completely cure for like a week or so, and I'm going to do like I do with most of mine and buff them out. Shout out Patreon members, Chris Smith, Joey Williams, Kristen Stina Land, Stephen Mance, William Robinson, Devil's Details, Diecast, Matchbox Garage, Alvarez's Diecast Customs, Jim Silver, and One Time Pledge from Chris Stanifer. Ones with the YouTube links or the icons next to them, the links are down below. Make sure you check them out. They're all killer channels. And a huge thanks to them. They help keep this channel going along with everybody who watches. So here's what I started with. 
bare bones, this is what I ended up with. I really dig the red. I think it makes the decal pop, and uh, the wheels are nice and huge, ready to go mudding and uh, partying out in the woods. So thank you guys for watching. As usual, stick around, watch the rest of the uh, pictures I took, and I'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.